An art manifesto is a public declaration of the intentions, motives, or views of an artist or artistic movement. Manifestos are a standard feature of the various movements in the modernist avant-garde and are still written today. Art manifestos are sometimes in their rhetoric intended for shock value, to achieve a revolutionary effect. They often address wider issues, such as the political system. Typical themes are the need for revolution, freedom and the implied or overtly stated superiority of the writers over the status quo. The manifesto gives a means of expressing, publicizing and recording ideas for the artist or art group even if only one or two people write the words. It is mostly still attributed to the group name. In 1855 Gustav Corbett wrote a realist manifesto for the introduction to the catalogue of his independent, personal exhibition, and in 1886 the symbolist manifesto was published in the French newspaper Le Figaro by the poet and essayist John Moreas. The first art manifesto of the 20th century was introduced with the Futurists in Italy in 1909, followed by the Cubists, Vorticists, Dadaists and the Surrealists. The period up to World War II created what are still the best-known manifestos. Although they never stopped being issued, other media such as the growth of broadcasting tended to sideline such declarations. Due to the Internet there has been a resurgence of the form, and many new manifestos are now appearing to a potential worldwide audience. The Stuckists have made particular use of this to start a worldwide movement of affiliated groups. Manifestos typically consist of a number of statements, which are numbered or in bullet points and which do not necessarily follow logically from one to the next. Tristan Zara's explanation of the manifesto captures the spirit of many. Concept. Before the early 20th century, the manifesto was almost exclusively a declaration with political aims. The intention of artists adopting the form, therefore, is to indicate that they are employing art as a political tool. The art manifesto has two main goals. The first is to define and criticize a paradigm in contemporary art or culture. The second is to define a set of aesthetic values to counter this paradigm. Often, manifestos aspire to be works of art in their own right. For instance, many manifesto writers intend for their texts to be performed. Other manifestos cannot be fully appreciated simply as written statements because they rely heavily on graphic design for communication. A common feature in Dada manifestos. Several artists have written manifestos about artistic mediums not their own. Historically, there has been a strong parallel between the art manifesto and the political manifesto. It was not uncommon for manifesto writers of the early 20th century to also be politically active. In Italy, Futurist founder Filippo Tommaso Marinetti ran for office, and both Russian and Italian Futurists issued political manifestos. In England, Vorticist Wyndham Lewis supported the suffragettes, while in France, Surrealist André Breton supported the Communist Party. Often, however, these political organizations rejected the artists' attention. In other cases, artists were censored and persecuted by European authoritarian governments, like Fascist Italy and Communist Russia, which institutionally rejected the avant-garde. Pre-1900, Realist Manifesto 1855 Gustav Corbett wrote a Realist Manifesto for the introduction to the catalogue of his independent, personal exhibition, 1855, echoing the tone of the period's political manifestos. In it he asserts his goal as an artist to translate the customs, the ideas, the appearance of my epoch according to my own estimation, Symbolist Manifesto 1886 In 1886 the Symbolist Manifesto was published in the French newspaper Le Figaro by the poet and essayist John Moreas. It defined and characterized symbolism as a style whose goal was not the ideal, but whose sole purpose was to express itself for the sake of being expressed. It names Charles Baudelaire, Stéphane Mallarmé, and Paul Verlaine as the three leading poets of the movement. 
Seminal 1909-45, Futurist Manifesto 1909, 1914 The Futurist Manifesto, written by the Italian poet Filippo Tommaso Marinetti, was published in the Italian newspaper Gazzetta dell'Emilia in Bologna on February 5, 1909, then in French as Manifesto du Futurisme in the newspaper Le Figaro on February 20, 1909. It initiated an artistic philosophy, futurism, that was a rejection of the past, and a celebration of speed, machinery, violence, youth and industry. It was also an advocation of the modernization and cultural rejuvenation of Italy. Since the founding manifesto did not contain a positive artistic program, the futurists attempted to create one in their subsequent technical manifesto of futurist painting. This committed them to a universal dynamism, which was to be directly represented in painting and sculpture. Objects in reality were not separate from one another or from their surroundings. The 16 people around you in a rolling motor bus are in turn and at the same time one. 1043, they are motionless and they change places. The motor bus rushes into the houses which it passes, and in their turn the houses throw themselves upon the motor bus and are blended with it. Cubus Manifesto 1912 du Cubism, written in 1912 by Albert Gleisers and Jean Metzinger, was the first major theoretical text on Cubism. The book was illustrated with works by Gleisers, Metzinger, Paul Cezanne, Fernon Ledger, Wang Gri, Francis Picabier, Marcel Duchamp, Pablo Picasso, Georges Braque, André de Rain and Marie Laurence. In this highly influential treatise Gleisers and Metzinger explicitly related the concept of multiple perspective to the Bergsonian sense of time. The faceted treatment of physical objects and space blurred the distinctions between subject and abstraction, between representation and non-objectivity. Effects of non-Euclidean geometry were used to convey a psychophysical sense of fluidity of consciousness. Du Cubism introduced the concept of simultaneity into the theoretical framework of Cubism. It was in part a concept born out of a conviction based on the author's understanding of Henry Poincaré and Bergson that the separation or distinction between space and time should be comprehensively challenged. It was based both on philosophical and scientific ideas, on Riemannian geometry and the relativity of knowledge, contradicting notions of absolute truth. These ideas were disseminated and debated in the widely available publication, and read by writers and artists associated with the advent of modernism. The Art of Noise 1913 Manifesto de la Colle Amorphista 1913 published in Les Hommes du Jour in 1913. It has never been clear whether this was a sincere manifesto of the new school of amorphism, or a parody. Vorticist Manifesto 1914 Extracts from the Vorticist's Blast Manifesto were published in their magazine Blast No. 1, on June 20, 1914, and then in Blast No. 2, in July 1915. Suprematist Manifesto 1915 In 1915, Casimir Malevich laid down the foundations of suprematism when he published his manifesto, From Cubism to Suprematism. Dada Manifesto 1916 Hugo Ball recited the first Dada Manifesto at Cabaret Voltaire on 14 July 1916. The second Dada Manifesto was recited by Tristan Zara at the Salmizer on 23 March 1918, and published in Dada, no. 3. The Stigil 1918 signed by Theo van Dusburg, R.O.B.T. Van T. Hoff, Vilmo Cesar, Anthony Koch, Piet Mondrian, Georges Van Tongelu, Jan Wils Manifest I of the Style, from De Stigil, Volume 2, No. 1. 4. Realistic Manifesto 1920 The Realistic Manifesto was written by Russian sculptor Naum Gabo and co-signed by his brother Antoine Pevsner, and the key text of constructivism. 
Purist Manifesto 1920-1925 The founders of Purism, Amadeus and Fountain Charles Edouard Genere, titled their Manifesto Apres le Cubism. Surrealist Manifesto 1924 The first Surrealist Manifesto was written by the French writer André Breton in 1924 and released to the public 1925. The document defines Surrealism as psychic automatism in its pure state, by which one proposes to express, verbally, by means of the written word, or in any other manner, the actual functioning of thought, dictated by the thought, in the absence of any control exercised by reason, exempt from any aesthetic or moral concern. Art Concrete 1930 Base de la Pencha Concrete was written by Otto G. Carl Sund, Theo van Dusburg, Jean Elian, Marcel Wants and Elia Cuto and Arthur Tutund Kien, published in Review Art Concrete, No. 1. Manifesto of Mural Painting 1933 Manifesto of Mural Painting was written by Maria Cerrone in 1933. Manifesto Towards a Free Revolutionary Art 1938 Towards a Free Revolutionary Art was written by surrealist André Breton and Marxist Leon Trotsky as a reaction against the Soviet Union's mandated art. Post-war 1946-59 White Manifesto 1946 White Manifesto is a 1946 text written by Lucio Fontana. Cobra Manifesto 1948 Cobra Manifesto, titled La Cause et I Tontondue, written by Christian Do Tremont, and signed by Carol Apple, Constant, Cornet, Asker John, and Joseph Noirat in 1948. Refuse Global 1948 The Refuse Global was an anti-establishment and anti-religious manifesto released on August 9, 1948 in Montreal by a group of 16 young QUE acute BE acute COIs artists and intellectuals known as Les Automatistes, led by Paul Emile Bordwais. The Refuse Global was greatly influenced by French poet André Breton, and it extolled the creative force of the subconscious. Manifesto of Eismo 1948 Manifesto of Eismo is by Voltlino Fontaine. Sculptor's First Manifesto 1949 Sculptor's First Manifesto is by René Ice Acute. Mystical Manifesto 1951 Mystical Manifesto was written by Salvador Dali in 1951. The Mystical Manifesto inaugurated Dali's nuclear mysticism period. Manifesto Pitura Nuclearae 1951 written was by Enrico Barge. Les Spatialistas Manifesto 1952 Les Spatialistas, an Italian group based in Milan drew up a manifesto for television. An art Ottera 1952 This work by Michel Tapier defined the art and formal movement. Gutai Manifesto 1956 This manifesto by Jiro Yoshihara defined the artistic aims of Japan's Gutai group. Autodestructive Art Manifesto 1959 Written by Gustav Metzger in 1964 This was given as a lecture to the Architectural Association, and taken over by students as an artistic happening. One of Metzger's Ealing College students was Pete Townshend, who later cited Metzger's concepts as an influence for his famous guitar smashing during performances of The Who. Neo-Concrete Manifesto 1959 Neo-Concrete Manifesto by Ferreira Gala begins. We use the term neo-concrete to differentiate ourselves from those committed to non-figurative geometric art and particularly the kind of concrete art that is influenced by a dangerously acute rationalism. In the light of their artistic experience, the painters, sculptors, Engravers and writers participating in this first neo-concrete exhibition came to the conclusion that it was necessary to evaluate the theoretical principles on which concrete art has been founded, none of which offers a rationale for the expressive potential they feel their art contains. Manifesto of Industrial Painting 1959 Manifesto of Industrial Painting 
for a unitary applied art, written by Giuseppe Pino Galazio, in August 1959, was originally published in Italian in Notas e Arti Figurative No. 9. Shortly afterwards it was published in International Situationista No. 3 in a French translation. It was translated into English in 1997 by Molly Klein. It has only 70 points and is written in a grand utopian rhetorical manner, with statements such as, a new, ravenous force of domination will push men toward an unimaginable epic poetry. One of its themes is the reconciliation of industry and nature. The return to nature with modern instrumentation will allow man, after thousands of centuries, to return to the places where Paleolithic hunters overcame great fear, modern man will seek to abandon his own, accumulated in the idiocy of progress, on contact with humble things, which nature in her wisdom has conserved as a check on the immense arrogance of the human mind.